Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, August the 4th, 2016 and in our Tech News Update today we have anti-piracy groups that are saying that they want actually to have laws that make piracy uh, blocked from the operating systems themselves. So what they say is that one of the major problems of piracy is the fact that the contents can still be played, can still work in the operating systems where people download them. And they say that it's extremely easy to implement something in the operating systems that will not just not play any movies, illegal movies, or install any illegal games. So um, I don't know where this would go, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, Microsoft, uh, Apple with Mac OS X and uh, even Linux probably don't want to have any blocking of content uh, and will probably say, well, it's none of our business. This is not our problem. It's your problem and so on. Uh, but uh, it's an interesting idea. Will it ever be done? I really don't think so. But, um, you know, it, there's so much here. Um, you know, piracy is a problem because of multiple factors. Uh, some of it is done by the companies themselves. You know, the companies that will make uh, movies or TV shows, for example, will often do or take moves that often make piracy a problem. Uh, also, you know what? Um, I think that the biggest problem is how easy it is to access pirated content. So, um, you know, everywhere there could be something that could be done. It's just, uh, who knows? But, uh, you know, piracy isn't cool. And uh, I don't run pirated software or anything. Uh, I think it's something that should not be done. Well, um, if you are still with Windows 7 or 8.1 and you regret not having used the free upgrade to Windows 10, well, it seems that as of today, Thursday, August 4th, um, it's been tested today by uh, Tech Radar and also, I believe, by Windows Central. And um, it seems that you can still upgrade for free if your computer has a product key for Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 on the box somewhere, uh, maybe underneath your laptop, and you decide you really want to move on. Well, guess what? That product key will give you a free upgrade to Windows 10 right now. Uh, it's some kind of loophole. I don't know if it's something that Microsoft intended to do or if it's something that Microsoft just forgot to shut down. But one thing for sure, if you want to take advantage of this, better hurry because uh, we never know when this could shut down. It could still work in two weeks, like it could stop working, you know, today. Uh, so, you know, get it while you can. Windows 10 free can still be uh, installed on your machine as long as you have a Windows 7 or 8.1 product key that you will enter, of course, in the Windows uh, itself. That's for sure. Well, Facebook um, is actually opening a huge cutting-edge hardware lab. Um, it's a 22,000 square foot lab. What's really the most modern of all? And the reason is simple. Facebook is not just a social media. It's also now more and more a company that wants to create hardware. If you think about these uh, drones that will give internet, if you think about all sorts of you know uh, things like uh, virtual reality, and there's so much hardware stuff that they want to do that basically they just need their own labs to do stuff, and they need to create their own hardware. Uh, you know, this is what happens when you start getting serious about making hardware. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of these Facebook labs. Uh, you know, I can imagine a lot of Facebook-enabled devices also that could be quite interesting. 
Well, a uh, while we're looking at the anniversary update rollout, you know, a lot of you still don't have it. Um, some of you have problems, some of you don't. I have a very limited number of problems with the anniversary update. Um, most of my, you know, on my three machines, um, only one has an issue with um, slightly with edge, it seems, uh, except for the tabs. Um, now from the reports that Microsoft is getting in the past 48 hours. Uh, first of all, the number of people that have problems is very limited. So it might look, you know, it's always like that. It might look like, wow, there's a huge, huge problem. Look at the hundreds and hundreds of posts of problems, uh, anniversary updates banned. That's not the case. You're jumping to a conclusion that is not at all the case. Uh, the majority of people have a good upgrade and have no problems. Of course, nobody that has a good upgrade goes to Microsoft's webpage and says, wow, cool upgrade works fine. Everybody that has a problem goes to the Microsoft website and says, doesn't work, got a problem. That's why it looks so bad. It isn't. Um, People jump to conclusions easily just because they see people complaining. You know, uh, look at any product; people complain. Now, what are the two main problems that people that do complain have? The biggest is unable to upgrade. Error messages, uh, freezes when it upgrades, stuff like that. Of course, lots of people complain of I don't have the upgrade yet. So. Um, Upgrade itself seems to be a problem for mm, the people that complain. Uh, and the second biggest problem, and you know what? I'm not surprised just because of all the comments I see on my channel. Cortana is missing. It's not working. Uh, settings for Cortana are not there. So um, what I'm saying to you guys, first of all, it seems that on the forum for Microsoft where people say the upgrade fails, using the media creation tool really seems to fix the majority of upgrade problems, either by upgrading via the, up, the uh, media creation tool or creating a USB device and upgrading from there. That seems to be the best way if you've got some problems to upgrade. And um, as for the Cortana problems, I'd say um, I, I will be looking into this for sure because I will try to post a video to see if I can find a fix. I'll post a video on what you can do to try to fix Cortana. But in the case where it's not that simple, um, I would guess that one of the, probably one of the best things to do is to wait for a cumulative update that will eventually be pushed, the anniversary update, that will probably fix Cortana for people that have a problem with it. So being patient, probably. Um, here on my machines, you see I've upgraded three. Cortana works on all three. And it understands me and has no, no issues. But uh, I do see a lot of you that have posted, hey, Cortana stopped working. So uh, I'll be checking into that, that's for sure. Well, um, another move, uh, some movie theaters are actually looking at a way to block cell phones from working in movie theaters. Uh, it's become a pro big enough problem that movie theaters themselves are saying, look, we've got to do something about this. It is annoying. Uh, people are completely idiots with their phones in cell theaters, you know, in, in uh, movie theaters. Uh, I shut down my phone in a movie theater. If you don't, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. Um, one of the things that they are looking at is um, m building uh, walls or building um, theaters themselves that have uh, the possibility to block outside um, radio waves, which means will, of course, block cell phones uh, from working. So you'll have no interest in using it. And uh, talking about that, of course, another technology they want to see is uh, blocking cell phone via radio waves. But that is complicated because in most countries, this is illegal. Uh, and uh, one last thing about movie theaters and cell phones. 
there was a plea yesterday from uh, Oliver Stone that uh, posted a video online and actually made a video saying, look, come on, people, when you go to a movie theater, why not shut down your phone, you know, just to watch the movie and be interested in what you're looking at? Uh, that is, of course, a good idea. You know, I go to the movies regularly, and I can tell you one thing. I've uh, regularly uh, heard, you know, cell phones that uh, start ringing, or, you know, that guy just next to you that is always constantly, every 10 minutes, looking at his phone. And you know what? A cell phone screen, when it's really dark, really is annoying next to you. So, uh, you know, I don't know. The, it, it's very difficult, you know. There are too many idiots out there. And finally, uh, interesting article um, that was popped up on, um, I believe, is Tech Radar. It's a security expert that says uh, that uh, something needs to be done about a flaw in my, uh, Microsoft Windows. It seems that there's a flaw, and the flaw dates back to Windows 95. So this gives you an idea that Windows 10, for example, and Windows 8 and Windows 7 still has remaining code from Windows 95. So uh, it gives you an idea of how some code really, really lives on for a long time. So basically what happens is that it's in the login credentials. So the way that our web browsers are logging into the web, like you know when you uh, also log on to your Windows operating system. And they say that that flaw has been there since Windows 95, but it's been um, viewed Basically, somebody started talking about it in Windows 8 for a very simple reason. Because starting with Windows 8, and Windows 10 is the same, when you use a Microsoft account, you now have login credentials all the time. Something we didn't have in Windows 7 and Windows uh, Vista or XP. So there was an, a, a talk about this, really. Apparently, there is a way, and you know nobody's talking about it, of course, but there is a way that... You, that could be used against you and somebody could take control of your machine. So I hope that you know the fact that we're talking about it will um, make Microsoft want to change the way that we connect and the way that we have our login credentials in Windows but uh, you know it's uh, security flaws should not exist anywhere. Uh, it's surprising that it's you know it's been discovered only a, a couple of years ago uh, and and it's an old flaw from Windows 95 so it's surprising it was just discovered not long ago but it's also a little surprising that uh, Microsoft didn't do anything about it uh, I wonder if maybe they're not stuck in some kind of a problem with that flaw that um, makes it real complicated to to fix but uh, let's hope that we do get a fix eventually well, this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, August the 4th, 2016. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything, let us know. It's always fun to have your feedback. Thank you for watching.